I tell you a secret? I used to be something of a mess. That might be the least surprising thing I've ever heard. She needs help, doesn't she? Julie. Now, everything pointed to her being dead. We were wrong. We find the girl. We get the story of what happened. Imagine we're not the only ones looking for him. What happened out there? I know you. I know what you did. I remember what we done. I remember not to see. Tired of this thing being in our lives. I want to know the whole story. You ever been someplace you couldn't leave? You couldn't stay? Both at the same time. Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye is actually an old noir novel by Horace McCoy, a reference to the very specific temporal theme of this season the way time moves and the way Wayne's memory is disintegrating. If someone's losing their memory, Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye is actually a kind of aptly poetic sentiment. I knew they wouldn't listen to me. But you should have stopped that. Me? I enjoyed the argument Stephen and McHerschel's characters have in their stakeout car prior to going and, and picking up this sex offender. The district attorney had sort of blown one of the first leads they had, and they're both pretty irritated about it. Why didn't you stop them? They ain't my tribe, man. Take care of your shit. Tribe? Where do you think you are, asshole? I know where I am. Do you? It don't sound like it. It was interesting to watch these two guys get into a petulant fight, and I like those two characters together. And I really like the scene between Wayne and Amelia at the bar where he's thanking her for her help and how they sort of very quickly start to tell each other the craziest thing they could admit about themselves, almost like they just want to skip as quickly as possible to knowing each other. Yeah, I spent two years in the jungle. A lot of it, I was alone. I hunt a lot now. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> That's a real shame. <laughs> if you're a Democrat, don't tell me. I'm always moved by Mahershala's performance as 70-year-old Wayne, and particularly what happens to him at the very end of the episode, and the confusion and fear and haunted quality in his eyes. I just found as a viewer it quite affecting to me.